there's nothing really more satisfying than watching the work that you've done to then signing it off and then seeing that job finish is, is it's a great feeling. Without this apprenticeship, I wouldn't have the skills to progress on in my career. So I'm here today to do some testing. Um, Joel's gonna come as well, he's gonna assess what I'm doing. Um, so I'm gonna give him a run through of how I'll go through testing and um, the safe isolation procedures and yeah, give him an update of where I am. The project that we've done today, it is installing the solar. Um, it's basically just to help Port of Blythe start becoming more green efficient. So electrical apprenticeship is a four year apprenticeship um, with a good balance of theoretical side and on-site experience with a heavy emphasis on health and safety. Jack is in his fourth year of his apprenticeship, so he is complete with all his knowledge units and currently we're finishing off his portfolio on site. I spend a lot of my time going out on site, see the apprentices every 12 weeks to see how they're getting on and if they have any requirements for learning. I am, was in a very similar position to Jack. I did my apprenticeship with JTL over the course of four years. Employer partners are very important because they're integral into getting new apprentices and working with us to provide the, the place and exp on-site experience for the apprentices. I have worked for AR Power just shy of three years. I started here, so I interviewed like everybody else. From there, we went through JTL to provide my apprenticeship. Since then, I've not really looked back. We are specialists in the design, installation and maintenance of solar PV on a commercial scale, including battery energy storage systems as well. We had our first apprentice around five to six years ago. We wanted to look at going down the route of having apprentices within the business and cross-skilling them within the renewable sector as well. We approached GTL because they deal with all the apprenticeship side uh, and we can focus on giving them the work experience element. We believe in bringing apprentices in for the longevity. So we don't look to just bring in people for the apprenticeship program. We look at people that are going to be with us for a long, long-term careers, then it's proved vital for us. The fact that we can leave JTL uh, and Joel to deal with the apprenticeship programme, it takes a lot of workload off us and we have that reassurance that the guys are getting the support they need. It's really good to see when you see an apprentice come through from when they first start to, to when see when in the second and third year, the, the confidence difference. JTL works with 3,800 businesses across the UK and we provide learning for 8,000 apprentices. The demand for skilled electricians is very high and we currently require 10,000 starts a year to maintain the current levels of trained professionals in the trade. With the government's current targets of net zero, improving the infrastructure and building more housing, the demand for electricians is higher than ever. I wanted to become an electrician because I knew it was a worldwide recognised skill. I knew no matter where I go, no matter where I end up, it was always going to be something I could use. My focus now is mainly getting complete. I'm fairly confident in what I do day to day, but getting over the final line to then be a better employee at AR Power and teach myself more skills going forward. The support that I've got now through Joel, he's making sure that I get that final push and he's always reassured us and pointed us in the right direction and we've moved forward like almost as a team. 